Hello Pisces, this is your January 2019 reading. It will not resonate with everyone as I always say, but I'm hoping that it will reach a lot of you. But this is for Pisces, January 2019. Full Celtic Cross, Pisces, January 2019. Full Celtic Cross. Some of you may be moving on from troubled waters with the Six of Swords in the upright. See what the beginning energy is. Hoping December is gone, you know, in your favor. But now a new year has arrived. Let's see what's going on. The devil. Someone is feeling chained to something. Feeling, feeling stuck in a way. The devil sometimes is associated with uh, obsessions like i said feeling chained not be able to break free sometimes that's the beginning entering energy for january 2019 you feel like things haven't moving forward quick quick enough or you feel like it's chaotic what's crossing it things just are stuck with the night of disc it also that you could be feeling like um you're dealing with somebody that's earth sign. It could be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Maybe you're afraid things aren't moving forward with this person. Maybe because of that devil energy. Your goal, you feel like you're losing strength, and you feel like you're going to continue to lose strength. This you can overcome. You can, you can turn this around. Foundation, you could be also dealing with yourself. That's kind of emotional. You're feeling distraught. You're feeling like you can't turn things around. This is the Queen of Cups in reverse. If it is you, you can turn this around if you want to. But right as a foundation, you're feeling kind of yuck. Okay? Or you can also be dealing with another Pisces. You can be dealing with a Cancer or a Scorpio. In the past, you felt like you were deceived and you feeling a little depression. Those could be both, those are both associated with this card. Some of, sometimes you'll hear somebody saying that has to do with intuition. But since the devil was, in the, in, was introduced in the beginning, I feel like you felt like things were hidden from you, you were deceived, and even feeling a little depressed. And in your future, you're going to feel like there's no good options, and you may have to choose from them anyway. You cannot, you can take this and, and not work with it. You do not have to accept this energy. But as a Seven of Cups, a lot of offers coming your way, and you may not like any of them in the very near future. They're coming. They're there. Just like they're just like, is, is this all? Is this all I got coming? But let me clarify these because this is the near future and this is the distant future, and I want to clarify things that are in, in the here and now in January. So the Chariot in reverse with the Knight of Disc crossing it. Why are you there for Pisces? You made wrong decisions. You made uh, you felt like that's the only thing you could take. Like I said, that's the Seven of Cups in reverse. It's like things didn't move forward with these with these options. These options that just aren't very good. And you may decide not to take them because you want to make what makes you happy with the Sun card. You want to do what makes you happy, and there's nothing wrong with that. Now the goal where it crowns you is the Nine of Wands. It is in reverse and you're feeling like a lack of energy and you may continue on so if you can't change this mindset with this unhappy home situation. With this unhappy with the way your surroundings are. And your goal may be actually trying to turn that around. Can I get another card for the Nine of Wands and the Four of Wands both in reverse? Yeah, you're tired of battlement. You just don't have the energy. You feel zapped. Now, as a foundation, like I said, there's the Queen of Cups. She is in reverse. She's feeling kind of emotional right now and distraught. Queen of Cups, why are you there? Why are you in reverse for Pisces? Could have to do with the Queen of Wands, which is it could be a fire sign. could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or someone's just really... You know, getting under your skin that has a lot of fire energy. Sometimes they can get a little spiteful, but then, you know, 
any anything in reverse can anybody can get in reverse and do this it's just i don't think you're happy with somebody right now and they're not happy with you either so queen of wands and the queen of cups why are you both there and as the foundation this also could be just you again in general because you can have this uh queen of wands as your ascendant or moon but let me get another card for that queen of cups queen of wands in reverse why are you there for pisces Yeah, if you don't feel my growth in this situation, whatever is occurring in your life, you can leave it in the comments. Maybe others can relate. I do read all the comments. I mean, I answer them right away because things are going on, but I do read them. And a lot of times, you know, there's times I answer them, as you know. But the moon is in the past. I don't like the moon card, and I'm never going to. I don't care what anybody says. The moon in the past, why are you there? Why are you feeling like you were things were hidden from you? Why do you feel deceived? Why you do you feel depressed? All these are related. Moon card, why are you there? Has to do with a lover, or maybe you felt uh, or a partnership of some sort that that you felt that someone is lying to you. Maybe they are, maybe they aren't. Can I get another card for the moon and the lovers? Maybe you're just really thinking, yeah, you just want happiness with them. And you feel, uh, you know, you, lo you love this person at one time. And maybe you still do, but you feel like you can't trust them. In the near future, you got the Seven of Cups. You feel like there are no really good options out there. Even though there are a lot of, out of, a lot of options there for you, you feel like you don't like any of them. Seven of Cups, why are you there in the near future for Pisces? Because you had your heart broke too many times. Three of Swords, you're coming out of it, but you're still remembering it or wouldn't be there. You know, Three of Swords, that heartbreak. Can I get another card? I feel like all these people are not good options. They just break hearts. Let me see. You may cut a lot of things out. You may uh, say your peace. You may give messages. You're not doing this to me. I'm not, I'm not accepting this. Now let me move this up where everybody can see something. Now the advice of the universe right here or the possible future outcome is breaking free, untrapping yourself from negative situations or feeling trapped or obsessed or just depressed with the Eight of Swords in reverse. Come out of feeling trapped and you may actually do it. Eight of Swords, why are you there? <clears throat> As the possible future outcome or the advice from the universe. Break free. Don't argue with people. Don't fight. It's not worth it. With the Five of Swords in reverse. Don't fight with the King of Swords. The King of Swords can be an air energy. It could be Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Do not fight with this person, even though this person may want to fight with you. Break your free from the negativity. What is coming towards you? You feel like there is no growth. Someone feels like there's nothing, nothing going to grow with you. They feel like maybe it's fruitless for you with, if they come towards you. Or this person that's coming towards you, you may feel like, you know, it's just not going to work. They just they just won't work with you. They won't let things, you know, flourish with the Empress in reverse. It could be that this person does also doesn't want a commit, commitment of family. Sometimes that is associated with it. Again, it has to do with the Queen of Swords, the Swords energy, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. So this person may not be ready for commitment or they're just not the commitment type material right now. And maybe they feel like that things aren't growing right. Maybe they feel like they, they just aren't ready to do what you want them to do. And that's why you may not accept just any offer and you may just decide to cut things out and have your say. Give messages that, no, I'm not doing this. This person, you may feel like has betrayed you or stabbed you in the back. You may feel like they did not do right by you with the Ten of Swords. Hopes and fears. Prince of Cups. This could be your energy. You may be afraid that you can't turn yourself around. Get rid of these emotions that are um, entrapping you. The uh, Prince of Cups in reverse while you're there. 
You want some stable. You want some stability. You want someone more sound and stable and reliable. But your fear is you fear you may not get it, but you're hoping for it, and you're trying to avoid towers as much as possible. Things crumbling down around you. You don't want this anymore. You fear it. It's like, oh, not again, you know, in your life. You don't want it no more. And it's a heavy fear on you. And it's like I said, it's, it's, it's anxieties, it's energies you're feeling. It doesn't have to become a reality. Remember to break free like the universe is telling you to. Is the outcome, you're not still not going to feel 100% happy because you don't like the options that are offered to you. This is the Nine of Cups in reverse. Can I get another card as to why Pisces is still not happy? towards the middle of at least January because I'm going to give another reading. Just feel like you're not happy. You don't want to resurrect anything that is not good for you. Anything should, is gone should stay that way. Someone may try to resurrect something with you, but it's not what you're wanting also. Remember, we had that Seven of Cups of options you're not settling for. You don't like them. Yeah, you don't, you're going to do what's fortunate for you because you're not happy with whatever this situation that ended that you may want to stay ended because it was not good for you something may try to resurrect or you may stay stuck in it you may feel stuck in it but the wheel of fortune you can have luck on your side if you try decide to change um your mental output of what is going on because most of this is mental of what had occurred in the past of deceptions you're not trusting it. You're not going for, like I said, just anything offered to you. The universe says you can break free. And maybe you can go for that wheel of fortune. You may not feel like it's there. You may not feel like you got any luck. But apparently you must have something coming. Because the, the uh, energy is telling me, the universe is telling me that you can break free. But you're going to have to really put on the effort. I know it's easier said than done. But it's allowing you that opportunity there is a choice to be made, and it's up to you whether you make the right choice. This is the two of wands. These are two options you have, and one is better than the other. And hopefully you decide what is best for you, and what is going to be prosperous to you, and, and feel right to you. But the energies of whatever is occurring... You're just not, like I said, accepting anything because of past heartbreak. Like I said, could have to do with deceptions and things you thought were what you were wanting, what you were wishing for did not occur. You felt there's no growth and now you're feeling emotional. You felt like it took too much emotions from you and it zapped your strength and you need to try to turn that around, which you may be trying to do. What's coming towards you is someone that possibly did stab you in the back or you felt that did. And they may be coming towards you, but they're not offering the things that you want. So like I said, you may be turning them down. You need to break free. The universe is allowing you to do so. But in the end, you're still not feeling happy and a little stuck. That's probably what that devil was about. The Wheel of Fortune is there, but you're going to have to turn it around to get it. Okay? And make that choice. And that is your reading, Pisces. And I will let you go. And I'll be back, hopefully, before, you know, mid-January's reading for, for mid-January. Talk to you later. Bye.